I can't wait anymore. I'm starting a couple minutes early. I just can't wait any longer. It is time to figure out which organized 365 product is going to beat the uh, is going to be the winner of Productivity Madness. Let's get started. All right. So, we are down to the final four. We're going to do the playoff game and we're going to end up with our last two and then we already know because we asked you we gave all the different pairings who would be the ultimate winner. So we're just going to go through all three rounds here right in a row. First, we have in our Sunday basket and home category. Representing the Sunday basket is, well, the Sunday basket. She decided to lighten her load. She left all of her housework at home. She has her slash pockets with her, but she's, she's nice and empty. She's light. She's ready for this competition. Also, she's like, you know, it's spring. I'm going to try on my trendy teal and really, you know, get into the spring vibe and, and really bring up the energy in these final games. The Sunday basket does so much work. I mean, she's constantly working. She's working night and day, supporting household managers with all of their cognitive load that's inside of their brain, the kitchen counter clutter, all of it. She has left all that at home. She deserves to have a day out. She is out in her nice spring attire. And she is going up against the winner in the home category, which is the Productive Home Solution. The Productive Home Solution is a 52-week curriculum with videos, co-working time, community group that literally walks you through week by week how to get your home organized in one year. Now, we do do it more than one time. I mean, we usually tend to go through it more than one year. So it's a lifetime program. Like, this is a lifetime program. Once you purchase, you have the curriculum, you have the community, you have the co-working for your lifetime. Sunday Basket is also a lifetime purchase. I mean, she has a co-working time too, you know. 90 minutes on Sunday. This is about half an hour on Thursday. She's got an app group. They've got an app group. We're all in this together. Who is going to win? Getting your home organized in one year with a curriculum where you don't have to think about what to organize next or organizing all the mental and administrative work in the household and they're off and they're off and this one's going for a three-pointer and this one's running down the court and running back they're very very busy both very busy but ultimately at the end of the day the sunday basket is going to move into the final round productive home solution you did a great job you're going to move over here into the stands oh my goodness did you see the stands i mean wow wow the the products have come to support their team members they know that we're all in this together okay let's look over here in the second set of brackets that we have we have the friday work box which is representing the invisible work at work out of our work category and out of our paper paper and information category we have the financial binder now to be honest this work box organizes the invisible work that is done inside of every job whether you're the ceo or a brand new employee just started your job last week this makes visible all the work that you are doing inside of your job. So you know where your time went. Like often you get to the end of the day, what did, I, what did I do today? Like, I don't remember what I did today. And making that work visible, it does two things. One, for you as the worker, you're like, okay, I realize, wow, I spend 50% of my time in meetings. No wonder that I can't get anything done. 50% of my time in meetings, 30% in email, only leaves 20% for everything else I'm supposed to do. That's why I'm working evenings and weekend. Once that becomes visible to you, you can make it visible to your manager or your owner. Or if you are the owner, solopreneur, that is your red flag that, hey, maybe it's time to get some part-time help around here so that I have more time to service the customers uh, and deliver the product or service that I'm uniquely created to do. The financial binder makes visible the invisible work of running the finances of a household and also puts it in paper form so that if somebody needs to be your power of attorney or you need to step in and be the executor for someone's estate, you have everything you need all in one binder. Easy to take to lawyers, accountants, all the places that you're going to need to take it. Now, to be honest, these are all essential products, right? But there are many, many, many solutions inside of workplaces. As a matter of fact, workplaces have so many systems, processes, procedures, planning rituals, planning books, all, like business has these things and they do them on a regular basis. So a lot of what I draw on in creating these systems and processes in our house is what I see works for entrepreneurs and inside of big companies. So maybe for that reason, I don't know, maybe because you can find something similar somewhere else, 
the Friday work box is going to join all of his fellow sisters over on the stands. And the financial binder is going to move into the final round. I'm going to be honest. This is kind of a surprise. Now, we, the Sunday basket has asked for a timeout. She's going to take a timeout for one minute. Okay, I, I don't know what she's doing, but she said she wants to have a timeout. All right. Oh, she said that she wanted a little black dress for this occasion. She said, you know, this is a formal affair. She's in the center court. She really would like to have her, uh, her little black dress on. Well, that's just so nice. You know, the Sunday Basket has been trying on many, many of her colors. I think we've gotten through six or seven of the ten colors that you could get in the Sunday Basket. She just, you know, she does a lot of work, but she wants to look good doing it. Now, maybe there's another reason that she's wearing black. We'll get to that later. All right, so now we're down to the final two products. And I will tell you, I wish that this product had been created when I needed it most. When my father got sick and I was power of attorney, and then uh, my sister and I were both power of attorney, and then I became the executor of his estate, I was 35 years old. And my dad was larger than life. You know, your parents, they're just, can, they're just larger than life in general. But in our city, my dad was really kind of larger than life. Like, he would walk into a bar and everyone would go, Owen, oh, kind of, you know, cheers back in the day. And he was really well respected in the community, well known in the community, tall man, six foot one, six foot two, um, had a presence everywhere he went. He was, you know, not much of a disciplinarian, played a lot of golf, did a lot of work. He was around. He was a 1980s dad, a, you know, a dad that was gave you a big hug, but also he was off doing things. He wasn't around a lot. So when my dad was around, I like had a a little bit of fear of my dad and a lot of respect for my dad. And I was down in Cincinnati raising my young kids when he fell sick and I became power of attorney and ultimately his executor. And I remember when he was in the hospital a second or third time. And at that point I started paying the bills. I had to start paying the bills for him. And it was really awkward, very awkward to be going into your family's finances kind of, I mean, like I, I was power of attorney. He knew I was paying the bills, but it's one thing for your parents to know that you're doing it. It's a different thing for you to actually do it. So I remember I was at the house one night. He was at the hospital and the house had been vacuumed. And my dad was a big vacuuming guy. Like every day at five o'clock, we would vacuum the house. And when he came home from work, the house was vacuumed. It didn't always need to be vacuumed, but he liked it to have the vacuum lines. So I'm at my childhood home, 33, 34 years old. My father's in the hospital. I'm paying the bills. I'm in charge of all of this. And I'm going, I need to go in his bedroom for something. And the vacuum lines are perfect. Now, my dad likes uh, Peter Sellers, the Pink Panther. Um, he loves all of those like detective Sherlock Holmes type shows. And he would always know anything we were doing as kids because he would notice if something was out of place. So here I am. I'm about to step into my dad's bedroom and the vacuum lines are perfect. And all I could think is, he's going to know I was in his bedroom. You guys, I was paying the bills. And I was still, uh, you know, a five-year-old kid standing at my parents' door, looking at a perfectly vacuum room, going, if I step in this room to get him close to take the hospital, which I need to do, he's going to know I was in his private space. I'm a kid. He's my dad. When you are thinking about your finances and you're thinking, oh, I don't want to make a financial binder because that's saying that someday I may not still be here. That's inevitable. When it happens, hopefully, God willing, it's going to be hundreds of years from now, right? But it is going to happen. And someday you as the child or you as the parent are going to need somebody else to step in on your behalf, pay your bills for you, and ultimately settle your estate. And saying it from the child's perspective, 33-year-old child at that, it is so surreal. It is so surreal to need to support your parents in that way. And when you do step in to be power of attorney or power of health care or power of, um, or settle an estate, you want to do so with the utmost integrity. So I did. I stepped in that room. I got the underwear. I took it to the hotel, the hospital. Ultimately, my father passed away. I was the executor. My sister worked on getting the house ready for sale. What you don't realize if you have not experienced this yet is the second you become the executor means that your loved one has passed away. And within a short amount of time, you need to notify people, write an obituary, um, 
plan a funeral, make all of the decisions, especially if that person didn't make the decisions about what they wanted to be done after they passed, sell your family home, deal with all the emotions and all of the finances. And by the way, all the money gets frozen at that point. So you can't get access to any of the deceased person's money, even if there is any. So now you're working on your money, of which I had none, in order to fund and do all these things until that money can get released. And to settle an estate takes like 12 to 18 months. I know this is not happy, like, whoa, I thought we were doing productivity madness. I thought like, woo, celebrations. This is life. Like, Organize 365 is here to support you in all of your life. And Greg and I have realized that we will probably settle six estates at a minimum. I think we are executors on six different estates. This is not a matter of if, this is a matter of when. And so creating this financial binder, which has all of these worksheets in it, is exactly what I was looking for when I was in my 30s. Like, oh my goodness, I don't have my finances squared away. Like I'm using this credit card to pay that credit card. I got this kid in kindergarten, this friend in first grade. I don't even know what we're having for dinner. And you're telling me that I am going to settle my father's estate where there are leased cars, multiple cars, property, like things four different lawyers. I didn't have any lawyers at that time. I didn't know how to talk to lawyers. I have no resources. This, I would have held this thing like this, like, hello, I'm here for my meeting. I did create a, a you know, quasi financial binder. I grabbed everything I could. Funniest and not funniest part of this whole thing is I went down to the file cabinet. I was like, that's it. I'll go in the file cabinet. I'll get what I need from my dad's file cabinet. And what I got were Golf, mag golf scores and car magazines. Okay, that helped me not at all. Uh, but I did cobble together everything I could find into a binder and took it to my father's estate lawyer. She looked at me, she said, you just saved yourself $1,000. I said, I did? She's like, yep, because now I can give you direction on where to start looking next because you've shown me this much paper. Paper is so powerful. Paper is information and paper doesn't have as much emotion as having to try to verbally explain what you think maybe you could find somewhere. If you could just hand paper to a lawyer, an estate attorney, an accountant, they can then ask you questions and you can go about your job of being the executor. So I know it's a little, um, it's life, you guys. This is life, especially as women, women outlive men, women settle estates. I'm getting my PhD. The literature shows women struggle was settling their spouse's estate and ultimately taking care of themselves and their finances after they pass. Like, this is real life. This is extremely important. Everyone will want to deal with this. No one wants to think about it. So we're going to move you over. The Sorry, Financial Binder, you've had your stay. Oh, the Sunday basket. The su She's dancing. She's a winner. She's winning. She's saving you five hours every week. She's saving you so much time. The Sunday basket is the ultimate winner. She was the winner two years ago. I was sweating it. Actually, Sunday basket, I just have to say, I was a little nervous that you weren't going to make it, but I don't know why I ever doubted that you would make it to the center court. Of course, of course you would. Sunday basket, take a bow. She, she emptied herself so she wouldn't spill all over you because, you know, she's always so overloaded with work. She had to leave the work at home to come and, and say, I can help you too. I can help you too. Get five hours every week. This was so much fun. You guys, this was so much fun being able to bring these products to life. I am a kindergarten preschool teacher at heart. Like these products speak to me. They speak to the invisible work that I do inside of my life. And I've created these products so that they can support you in what you do to make it visible to your family members. Look, my entire life's dream from childhood until 40 was to find a spouse so I could get married, so I could have children, so I could be a stay-at-home mom. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And then in my 30s, while I was still a stay-at-home mom, I was like, hmm, I wonder what I want to do next. I wonder what else I want to do. And also I wanted to legitimize the work I was doing as a stay-at-home mom. And I started to create these systems out of things I had around my house. When I turned 40, my kids were in middle school and I was like, I need a job job. Like I need money. These kids, their school, they're expensive. These kids, ridiculous. I need to work. And so I started to organize 365 as a blog because I thought, you know what? If I can only talk about one thing for the rest of my life, what would that one thing be? Organization, 365 days a year for the rest of my life, I could talk about getting organized, organization, how organization leads to productivity. No idea I was a professional organizer. None of these products existed. Um, and I just 
kept taking the next step and the next step and the next step and getting myself personally organized. And then being a professional organizer in Cincinnati and for six years getting other families personally organized. And then I took those learnings and I thought, huh, interesting. Organization is a learnable skill. Well, it'd be really helpful if we could create a way that we could learn this skill online so you wouldn't have to pay a professional organizer. If you can afford it, run and hire one. But most people can't, it's really expensive. And ultimately, you need to learn the skill of organizing for yourself because you will have seasons of your life where you'll get disorganized again. And once you know the skill, you can help get your way out. So it's taken, you know, Organize 365 is 12 years old now. And it's taken a long time to create all of these products and all the supports that go behind them, including all of the co-working times and our own private community app. You know, we have a private community app because when you're getting organized, you really don't want your mother-in-law, your neighbor, and your sister to know about it. Like, you'd like to kind of do it in private. You'd like to be able to ask people in the app and not worry about, oh, shoot, are my Facebook friends going to see that? So we do all of this inside of a private app, which I think really helps people ask the questions they need to ask. And it's so positive. Like, there's nothing negative in our app. And when I started doing this 12 years ago, there was this air uh, you were organized or disorganized. And if you were disorganized, oh, well, sorry about that because we're organized over here. And that's kind of the feeling that I got. And I was like, <laughs> I used to be organized, but I'm not organized now. I could really use some help. I could use some support. I could use an uplifting group where I don't have to worry about sharing. I remember somebody shared in the app, uh, I believe this was on Facebook before we had the app, one of the most impactful messages. And we get messages every day. I read them every day. It is so edifying to me. She said, you know, one year ago, my children and I were celebrating Christmas on my bed because that's the only space in our, in our house that we could use. We would just get on the bed and do everything on the bed and then that was how we would live. And she said, and this year, we're celebrating Christmas in the family room because our house is organized. And to me, that is what Organized 365 does. It has nothing to do with what your house looks like. We're not a Pinterest company. We're not selling anything that is decorator. We are only selling functional products and courses and education to get you organized. And organization is about being able to use your home and free your time to do what you're uniquely created to do. That's it. You can dress it up all you want, but that, that's all that organization is. So the Sunday basket is the winner. The Sunday basket is where we start. Oh, what? What? Oh, she said she has a gift. You have a gift for everyone? She has a gift. Do you guys want a gift? Okay, what is it? She said free. Are you sure we can do this? Did you get approval for this? You did. Okay, Stephanie said it was okay. Okay, free shipping for everyone for the rest of the month, for the rest of March. What do you mean there's more? Oh, 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 look at this. Okay, well, she, she brought party favors. You brought party favors? Okay. So this actually is the oldest organized 365 product we have. You may not even know it exists. It's called a Sunday Basket bookmark. Back in the day, our first product was this bookmark with uh, the workbook that came along with our planning day, which at the time was a planner. And this would keep your place in the planner. It's a Sunday Basket bookmark. On the front are all the different things that I would check for at the beginning of the week. As I was going through my Sunday Basket, I would make sure I did all of these things to set myself up for the week. And then on the back, you can add post-it notes and you can keep front of mind what your goals are for the next quarter. It can click into any kind of spiral notebook that you have. I actually just keep mine like this in the Sunday basket and then I review it each week. So that is the Sunday basket bookmark. This is free with any purchase through the end of March. So you don't have to click anything. You don't have to add anything to your cart. Any purchase actually placed as of yesterday, because we shipped these out to anybody who, who purchased yesterday. So yesterday through the end of the month, free shipping, so no shipping will calculate on your order, and we will automatically put one of these in with every order. So, oh, that is so nice. Isn't she so generous? That is so nice. What? Oh. Oh. She was saying maybe you would like to, to hear about how she could help you get your house organized in one year. Do you guys want to hear about that? Do you have more surprises? Oh, she said she does. Oh, well, then we want to hear about it. Okay. All right, so how you get your house organized in one year. We'll just move you over to the side. First of all, you want to start with the Sunday basket. 
So here we have the raspberry embrace. As I said, the Sunday basket comes in nine or 10 colors. I believe we have a couple that are sold out right now. Any color of your choice, you're gonna start with a Sunday basket. So this is a bundle that the Sunday basket has put together for you. I, I can't wait to hear what it is. She's telling me as we go. First, you need a Sunday basket. The Sunday basket can get set up and become a habit in about six weeks. So if you start now, you're going to be, your Sunday basket's gonna be set up and a habit right about planning day. That is gonna be perfect timing for this bundle. You get the Sunday basket, it comes in the mail. You're gonna get the box, the color of your choice. You're gonna get 25 slash pockets. No, they're not labeled already. You have to do that part yourself. Pink, purple, blue, green, and a set of rainbow. You will also get the printed out workbook. You'll get an online dashboard, the community, and the co-working space. So you get to pick your color of your Sunday basket. Next, in your year of transformation, you're going to want to do the productive home solution. You're going to want the full 52-week curriculum. Now, like I said, this is a lifetime purchase, meaning that you're going to go on vacation. Somebody might get sick. An unexpected blessing or an unexpected bad event is going to happen and you're going to get derailed in your organizing. You should expect it. You should not wait until you're going to have a perfect year. That does not exist. You should expect you're going to get off track. Every single week is independent of every other week. It doesn't matter. You can flip it open and go, and we're going to start here. And then the next week we're going to do here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We do work in a certain order. So there is an order in which Tanya will be walking you through this in the co-working time. And those weeks are perfectly timed for the seasons of the year, especially as you go to round two and beyond, because you will be doing this over and over again. Like you'll freshen up your closet a couple of times a year. You'll freshen up your kitchen. You'll like, you'll keep going through it. Just not at the same level. It'll be a really deep level the first time. So the 52 week curriculum is included inside of this package as well. And <clears throat> planning day, but not just one planning day. We want to give you a full one year curriculum. What will it take to actually get your home all the way organized? If you give me one year, I will give you an organized house. First, you have to have the Sunday basket. If you don't start with the Sunday basket and you jump in here with this household organizing, this is what happened for me. You empty out half of your closet. First of all, that's not how we do it, but that's how I did it. I empty out half of my closet. And then a kid walks in your room and throws up on the floor. And you're like, oh, I guess we're going to stop doing the closet now. We're going to take care of the child. Or you're doing your closet and all of a sudden someone calls and says, why aren't you at the party? I'm like, what party? You are supposed to bring the blah, blah, blah to the party. Your Sunday basket keeps track of all of those items. If you don't have a way to keep your calendar organized, your mail organized, your bills organized, your weekly planned, then you are going to get derailed here. And what I noticed as people get derailed in organizing their house is they start talking negatively to themselves. They go, I don't know why I thought I could organize my closet. Obviously, I can't even keep track of where I'm supposed to be during the day, so I shouldn't be able to take a Saturday and organize my closet. And that's not what we need. We don't need any more negative self-talk. We just need to schedule in the Sunday basket, schedule what we're going to do for the week, and then run our race. The Productive Home Solution can be done in 15 minutes a day. Most people do about 20 to 30 minutes a day and or they do a longer session on Saturday each week as they're really getting going the first year in organizing. The next thing you add to that is planning. We do three planning days. So you can see this is represented by three different workbooks, three planning days. And in your year of transformation, you have three planning days and all three prep days, meaning two days before planning day, we're gonna go through this Sunday basket together we're going to review our calendar. We're going to get as much of this prepped and ready. And then when you come two days later to our four hour live planning day, and yes, there is a replay, then you're going to walk through and really fill out your workbook and make a plan. We live so reactively at home. Like we, we might plan for tomorrow. We might plan for next week, but it's so rare that we think months in advance, years in advance. And this is really going to change your thinking from reactive day to day, week to week thinking, to proactive week to month to year to year thinking, and you're going to be able to accomplish much more goals. So the productive home solution, the planning day, all three for a calendar year and all three prep days for a calendar year. This is all included inside of your year of transformation. But wait, there's more and they're not Ginsu knives. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we don't want any knives near children. You get the paper solution. So inside of the productive home solution in the summer, we focus on paper. You don't have to have the paper solution, 
binders in order to do the productive home solution paper, but it is very helpful. Let me just tell you, creating these from scratch or getting them already done, game changer. Like, it has taken us so long to create these. We had a ICU cardiac nurse create the medical binder. We've had numerous financial experts review our financial planner. Uh, we've had numerous realtors review our household reference binder. Like experts have created what you need to maintain and sell a house, what you need to um, organize and take care of running all the day to day of your household as your household um, fund coordinator and holiday merrymaker. Everything you need for your finances and to step and be power of attorney, power, uh, um, power of health care, and settle an estate. This is the get your life organized in one year bundle. Now, as we were creating this, the Organized 365s team said, Lisa, you have to add the kids in here. I was like, okay, fine. I'll add them. So also included is the launch program and the kids program. The kids program is completely digital. The launch program does include a launch binder, a beginning sunny basket, and the 1.0 slash pockets. This, in this bundle only, will be caramel macchiato. No choice on this color. That's a limitation of our website. We can't pick multiple colors. So this color is locked in. This color you get to pick. You can get your year of transformation with or without kids. Now, I was just going to say with or without kids, but the Organized 365 education team said, Lisa, you have to explain, which I did in one of the previous videos, why it is so important that even if you don't have kids, you have the kids and the launch program. And it is because you learn so much in these programs. There is basic organization that's taught here that is glossed over more on this level because I'm just starting with adults here. So. If you're saying, would I benefit as an adult from a kids program and a launch program? Yes, you definitely would. But if you don't have kids, no problem. This is the kids program. You can get it with the kids program or without the kids and the launch program. Now I know, we've already anticipated. Some of you are gonna say, oh, but I just got the Sunday basket. I already have a Sunday basket, but I don't have anything else. Like, I need all of this. I want this bundle. I want all of this, but I already have a Sunday basket. So what can I do if I already have a Sunday basket? The bundle comes with the Sunday basket. You're getting a Sunday basket. But you have until Memorial Day, so the end of May, two months, to gift this to someone else, meaning that when you buy your year of transformation, this is all going to get shipped to you. And then if you choose to give this to your mother or one of your kids' teachers, or a sibling, or someone at work, we will change the access for this box to that person's email so they can get in the club and all those things, but you only have two months to do this. This is an amazing Mother's Day gift because if you're going to end up with this green binder for your parents, they need to end up with one of these now because it will help you so much more. Great gift for a sibling. It's an Excellent, excellent, excellent gift for teachers. So right now we have the education work box and we're promoting the education work box for teachers to make visible the invisible work they're doing at school. They love that. But the teachers who are in our pilot programs all want the Sunday basket. Or they're taking their education box and they're turning it into the Sunday basket because they want support at home as much or more than they want support inside of the classroom. So if you want to give a great gift to your teachers, go in as a whole class, this is what you want to give teachers. You want to give them a Sunday basket so they can focus on their um, house this summer. Now, oh, there's some more? No. no. Did you clear this with Stephanie? I'm, I may have to actually go ask Stephanie. The Sunday basket said she was the winner, and I have to listen to her. Also, she said she's wearing black because she has a black belt in organization. And uh, I'm supposed to listen to her. You know, I made you, right? It's kind of like I think where we're going to go with AI. I am the one that created you. Oh, she says she's in charge. Okay, she said she's in charge. Well, we are five weeks away from planning day. Oh, one side note. You're going to get access to all three planning days, but you're only going to get one workbook. The other two are going to get mailed before each of the workbook, before each of the planning days. So don't worry when you only get one workbook inside of your planner. Okay. I still feel like I should stop and go make sure that Stephanie said this is okay. Nope, she's saying it is okay. 
We are five weeks away from planning day. So your year of transformation is currently $500 off. $500, I still, I'm a little nervous even saying it. $500 off. Next Thursday, it will be four weeks from planning day. So it'll be $400 off. The next Thursday will be three weeks. Are you getting the picture? So $500 off for your year of transformation with or without kids. Next week will be 400, then 300, then 200, as long as we still have them in stock. If we, if we run out, then the promotion is over as soon as we run out. So if you have been sitting on the fence and you're like, well, this was really entertaining. And also maybe instead of just watching social media, I should actually get my home organized. So I have more time and maybe I could be the crazy person like Lisa who has her own company and is creating talking products to her and, and different things. Like I want you to have your time to do what you're uniquely created to do. I don't know what that is. It's different than what I'm uniquely created to do, but I do know this in organizing hundreds of women in person and thousands of women online. When your home gets organized all the way organized, you will have more time than you know what to do with and then you will need to struggle with what you were uniquely created to do and that is what the world needs the world needs you working in your unique gifting and blessing the world with that and that's what organize 365 wants to do so we want to enroll my goal is a thousand people into your year of transformation a thousand people so if you're already you already have these products Maybe you've bought them over the last six years while I've been creating them as the prices have gone up over time. And you're like, I really like to get my sister in. I really like to get my friend in. But you know, I bought in back when before the prices had risen. This is a great time to get your family members and your friends in at this $500 savings, $500 savings and free shipping. And don't forget, you're going to get the little Sunday basket bookmark. Everyone who places an order is going to get a free shipping and a little Sunday basket bookmark through the end of March. This promotion will go through the end of April as long as we still have supplies. And the 54321, as you'll start seeing um, in the different forecast videos that are coming out starting tomorrow, will start to click down. So you will want to make sure that you get this and you get it soon before it sells out and before the price goes up to regular price. Thank you so much, you guys. I am gonna hop now into the, um, into the app and review the workbooks because I told you guys there's a, a change coming in the playing day workbooks. If you know on Instagram, you've never seen the workbook. It's not as big of a deal, but inside of Instagram, give me about 30 minutes to catch my voice again, and then I'll be back. Bye guys.